Kathy Hochul is the 57th governor of the state of New York, the first woman to hold that seat, and she was sworn in right here in this room with her family by her side. The office of governor of the state of New York, to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability, so help me God, so help me God. And this is history. The first female governor of New York with her family by her side. Notice Governor Hochul wearing white. White dresses are a statement for the women's suffrage movement. And minutes after her private swearing in, she spoke about it. A lot about all the women who came before me, uh, including my mother was not there, but a lot of women through history. And I felt uh, they passed the torch to me. For a woman taking over for a governor who was brought down by sexual harassment allegations, she promised to change the culture in Albany. I want people to believe in their governor again. It's important to me that people have faith. Our strength comes from the faith and the confidence of the people who put us in these offices. And I take that very seriously. Hochul may be governor, but she doesn't forget home. And what do you say to Buffalo? I love Buffalo and go Bills. Changing the culture here in Albany and recognizing the women's suffrage movement. Two things that stood out about Kathy Hochul's first day in office as governor of the state of New York. In Albany, I'm Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.